is going on guys it is your boy Cecil here with a video we're here today with a brand new video of a one minute better design series of whatever the title says abstract modern blah 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 whatever it is but it's so simple so quick so fun I think anyone can honestly do it it's gonna be really fun and easy and uh, yeah it's pretty much it so if you guys like the video don't forget to leave a like on the video and for the record I am hiring an editor soon so I actually have more videos out soon so I, I wanted to say that because I think you guys will enjoy that but that's all I got so enjoy the video enjoy your weekend all that good stuff okay later all right, guys, so let's go ahead and get this started right here, right now, and show you guys how easy and simple this honestly is and uh, how fun it actually is because you I'm not going to really even plan anything. I kind of have an example here just for like the fun and just the idea of the visually what we're going to be doing, of course. However, it's going to be so simple that you could do literally anything. So if, even if you're bad at Photoshop, which is not that experience, you can still do this style and make it look really cool. And it's just all about the kind of strokes and the shapes that you use. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be pretty fun to explore. So. First thing as first, of course, let me just quickly say though, the uh, the tools I'm gonna use in today's video are gonna be these right here, right? The rectangle tool, the ellipse tool, the triangle tool, and like if you wanna use a polygon tool, for sure you can use that as well because that is basically the vector tool shapes in Photoshop and our strokes look really, really clean when we use vector shapes. So I'm gonna be first starting off with a nice little rectangle, of course, okay? And for the record, um, of course, not only are we using rectangles and circles, but I'm gonna, excuse me, I'm going to be using rectangles and circles, but you guys can use like triangles, polygons to make it just even more different than my example. I'm going to show you guys right now, but just for the record, that's what I'm doing. And let's go to fill here. Let's choose a, oh, my color palette right here. Let's go ahead and choose a pink to start us off. And of course the stroke color we're going to use on black and then turn our points from 1.4 to 2 press enter and just like so we're looking pretty good now of course the way this the way this style kind of works all your stroke paths need to be perfectly like placed right so of course right here you have an issue right here take our arrow key move it down twice and we have a nice little fix now secondly though if you guys are, are not going to be using a shape tool of course you're going to be using different pencil shapes too it's got to fill in those really awkward things but i want to do something right here right let's take the shape right here i'll make sure i go right at the point right as close as i can go over here okay and then make sure i follow the exact path or the exact like output of the canvas that way or don't go outside the canvas because of course the stroke itself needs to be perfect like i said before so i fill this in right if i press Control enter to quickly fill in that floor or excuse me to make the path the actual uh selection Control enter to make a selection and i'll go over here and make my foreground color really quickly a nice different color which i'm going to use purple for now press enter alt backspace will quick fill in that purple color from the foreground color and i can press Control d to deselect right Go over here, change our, uh, put our stroke on, excuse me. And I think a nine point is a pretty accurate idea from a nine points in like layer styles. And of course a two point in, uh, how do you say vector shapes, right? So press okay, right? Of course you, you'll really quickly notice when you have issues, right? So this right here is a little bit more thinner. This is very thick. That is because of course this is kind of starting off a new stroke in a way. So of course I'm gonna move this shape inward. That way it perfectly lays in the actual kind of like same thickness. And of course you're gonna have to go back over here right you see a little bit of empty space press Control t to free transform hold shift on your computer take the anchor itself and move it over and your problem is pretty much solved so very simple very easy this is kind of the whole idea of the actual project so i'm gonna hold alt on my keyboard take the rectangle move it above everything that way you make a duplicate of it and i can just take my rectangle of course Control t to free transform holding shift will make it so that you can move each side on its own make a different length if you guys need to of course and all that good stuff and of course not holding shift will just make sure you make it quite scale pretty big right let me say make, i'll make myself a nice little cool short little rectangle right here i think it looks pretty cool right and so of course all your color palette stuff for the record if you don't have light shots which is a print screen program on my computer that i personally use it's basically like a guy as but light shots like 10 times better because of course you can highlight it circle around things or whatever um but Control c on it and then Control v which is pretty clutch because with Gaiazo, you have to upload it. And if you everything you don't want to like upload, because of course, like you can low key search through Gaiazo images. Light shot's pretty OP. If you guys press Control C, Control V, no one can really see what you're doing. Okay. That's how, of course, you get my color palette. But I'm going to take my fill. Let's just go with a nice yellow. I think a yellow is a pretty good idea. Let's go with yellow. Okay. And of course, just like that, we have our first little kind of like interaction looking pretty good. And basically, I'm going to do this over and over and over again until I fill enough space for you guys to actually go back and see if I have a problem or fill in those little awkward shapes. But for now, though, I'm going to take these shapes, hold alt, drag them over and just make myself some little more space or give myself a little more space by just kind of like going around and just adding in some different rectangles. Actually, what I want to quickly just say, like the really cool little things you can do, of course, is the interlay, but just another idea of how you guys are doing yours, which you would kind of do as well, right? For this little uh, rectangle right here, I'm going to hold Alt, 
drag one below it. And I'm gonna give myself a nice little quick little windows kind of like tab thing where you kind of like add one, another extra one right behind it. It looks pretty fun, looks kind of like retro in a way, looks pretty good. And I do think, however, keeping things, how do you say, purposeful, right? So if I just have this little, this distance here, let's make sure we kind of give ourselves an idea of making sure we keep that same distance. That way this looks more intentional, looks a little bit better by people who are looking around the actual banner itself, right? So pressing U, go to our fill over here and changing our color back by here. Also, I don't know if I said that, but yeah, it with the, uh, using the stroke, excuse me, the, using the vector path tool shapes, there we go. Uh, if you guys press U on your keyboard, it brings you quickly back to the actual shape and lets you pick your color very quickly over here, choosing this right here. And then let's say that I wanna use a, a quick little yellow and we're looking good, right? So just for the record, that's what I'm gonna do for that. And I'm gonna say, let's just add a few more things in. All right, I think I'm just gonna add in this little white square for this instance, I guess. But also for the record, when you have a little bit issues, I'm gonna call them, right? Like these areas right here, we have this like random shape right here where low key, it's not a rectangle, it's not anything. What I'm gonna do for that quick little problem solve is make a new layer below everything, okay? So take my pen tool and just say like, yo, let's go right here, boom, cut this down. And then just say, yo, go around it where the white is. Let's go ahead and make our forking color black for a second. Control enter to make this a selection and then alt backspace to quick fill that in. Now we have ourselves a little bit of negative space in there that's kind of filled in with that black. And the reason we're using black is because of course, all these shapes have that stroke. So the style itself gets carried out when you guys use solid blacks or even solid whites with a nice little bloke, uh, with the white, with the bloke black stroke around it. These are, this is all tongue twisters, but you can see it kind of flows very, very well and nicely. And that's why I would say if you guys have little issues with like different shapes, just use a nice little black or a white box in that case to make it kind of filled in. But now you kind of see all I'm basically doing now is taking more shapes, of course, right? Maybe make a duplicate of them. Let's move one like right here, moving it over here. And let's just say like a nice big shape right there. And of course, of course, if I have like a blue here, I have a yellow right here, I have a pink here. I think the best color is probably not salmon either, but it's probably purple in this case, right? So if you thought purple, we're on the same page, right? Because purple's over here. There's not much purple in there yet, but now it makes you easier to kind of like fill in and give different colors contrast and not use the same color over and over and over again next to each other, right? So very, very simple, very easy stuff here. Of course, I'm gonna add in some circles because I could, right? A ellipse tool over here. Let's add in a circle right here. Same settings, however, two points on the black and we're gonna use a color. Let's just use, I think pink is this case gonna be our best bet right now. Boom, just like so, right? Just like this. And of course, oops, I don't know if I actually changed it. Oh, I didn't even notice, but I think these two actually accidentally merged. I don't really know how that happened, but I'm just gonna quickly just make our circle one more time again. Now it's actually back in there. Now I can change this color to a nice little pink that I thought was with the right color before. Right, and then this case over here, I'm just gonna say, yo, smaller. Then I'm gonna say, yo, make another one right here, a little bit smaller as well. Let's say this one can be yellow, because I think yellow is not really used too much right in that corner. And let's just say one more like floating on this area. And let's just make this one white because we could, I think it makes the most sense, just like so right there. Right, and I'm gonna go over here in this left hand side, make another circle below everything. And you can see I'm not having any, there's no literal like pre me moving things like in the beginning of the video. I'm just kind of like making something and it's working because the actual style itself lets you kind of do whatever the heck you want. Right, I'll make another uh, duplicate of this one, make it smaller just like so. And I'll just say over here, I'm gonna make this one yellow for sure because yellow is definitely not used on this side enough. Boom. All right, I got a little nice little cool little thing over here. Another way to kind of quick fill in some more color in here, by the way, is I'll make a new layer, uh, excuse me, a layer. I'll, I'll go all the way below it, all my below my layers, okay? Then I'll go over here to the rectangle tool, and I'm gonna set myself a nice little skinny rectangle just like so, right? I can't see it because it's white for now. I'm gonna turn this on on a pure black, and the stroke can be basically turned off in this case, okay? Alt, Shift, basically make a nice little duplicate. Alt shift, click again, duplicate of course, make sure the space is pretty even, right? It is, another one I think is pretty good call. And just like that, uh, it's not actually that even for the record, uh-oh. Uh uh, sorry if you have OCD, but I think it's pretty good for now. Hopefully you make it perfectly even. I, use, I usually use Illustrator for this kind of stuff, even though it's like a different program, you can do it in Photoshop. You can press Control D in Illustrator to make some nice quick duplicates for you. And also keeps it the same distance. So anyway, Control T to free transform these little duplicates. I'll move it over here. And I'll say to myself, sure, this is pretty cool. However, I want to make I want to make this kind of like a bigger look here. And I'm gonna problem solve this, make a little more smaller distance in here, and then a really really tight distance right here to make it feel like a crescendoing effect in a way, right? So we'll go over here, new layer below everything, just like so. Take my brush tool, choose a color, and then just fill it in. Let's just go ahead and say like, yo, I think yellow, nope, pink, I think will work pretty well right here. I haven't used blue on this side. Oops, I just pressed remove. I just pressed remove background. Whoops. Um, boom, right, and I'll say over here, let's just choose blue, boom, and then last but not least, let's use purple right here, 
and i'll say even like yo white can be the place like right there right a nice fun little also way to kind of fill in some color even though realistically organically i don't know if the the shapes kind of work that well that looks pretty that looks pretty cool too literally anything you do is a cool idea so i'm gonna take this shape over here let's break this up a little bit and let's just use a nice little kind of like maybe we use a white in this case right here i think right and i'll just say yo i'll make a new layer right Control t free transform this baby i'll make another uh circle in front of it or uh inside of it and i'll say i think purple is a pretty good call here right just like so right we can do some more shapes inside oops and uh, some more shapes outside of it like this over here but realistically you can do whatever you want and honestly for the record i think i'm pretty much done with this this is there's not much else i can do to this besides like keep keep on doing things and th that's the idea right that's the idea of why this is such a fun idea is you can keep on doing things make it more and more fun make it more and more you you can use different shapes of course like i only use literally a circle and a rectangle if i want to add in a nice little different shape like a nice little cool triangle in here i could however i don't know if i add enough triangles in here for that to be like make any sense but i can just add in a triangle if i want to right go over here and just make this like i think pink nope white blue blue dang i don't know let's go blue okay let's go blue okay right i can rotate this a little bit if i want to as well but it makes sense you can do honestly anything you want and for the record as well i think i'll show you guys one more thing you can do and explore is let's just use this white dot for a second right i'm gonna take this right i'm gonna go over here and turn off the stroke for a second okay just like so and i'm gonna use the same fill with the same exact kind of like uh uh still the, still using the vector tool holding alt moving it over here drag move alt dragging over here making three simple dots click on this la first layer holding shift click on the last layer basically selects all of them in between Control e to merge it together since it's still a uh, a vector tool still we'll use this vector product we merge it together if we go back in and press u on our keyboard bring up the shapes again we can bring in our stroke once again and make it black just like so and then we have ourselves a really cool little fun organic shape we can just kind of put around in different spots and this is pretty much the effect itself and i do think if you're going to add any text in this case if you want to add like a big little name like your own name or whatever adding it in like these little areas right here is a fun little way to explore it right i think maybe even in black is a pretty good idea too right so we can kind of feel like make make it make sense in this case or pure white also works yo real quick so i know i don't know why i didn't think about saying it before but now you, i'm just gonna quickly show you guys but really quickly in these little spots down here i would even say to yourself add in a little bit of a sans serif font that's like super super small text right a nice little sans serif font this can help fill in these little areas over here and make it look super super fun super cool and just make it even more dynamic and fun if you guys want to um like it, i don't know i just want to say that because i think it looks pretty cool if you guys do do this and uh yeah that's all i got just want to i just want to quickly say that However, if you want to use a color, I do think a nice little idea is using like a pink for this instance, right? Using a stroke again, just like so. Let's just use like outside at like six, what we said, nine pixels, right? Just like that. And of course, this can also be a way you play in a factor. However, it doesn't look as good. I would say if you're going to use a stroke for like a text tool, either use it in Illustrator, make a quick little, uh, quick little perfect stroke in Illustrator. However, I think the way you get the best look for your, um, strokes here if you use an inside right the issue is it kind of makes the font look a little bit different uh different because you're actually shrinking the actual weight in a in, like in a way so it's not the best idea in my opinion so i would use a illustrator um uh text effect for this but this is pretty good so that is basically the idea that is basically the idea of the video and the idea of just making a really cool fun little modern art kind of idea i don't know what i tell this video but it's super simple it's super easy it's super quick and i didn't really know what else to talk about so i was kind of just talking but really all you're doing is taking a rectangle taking some squares taking some circles whatever other shape you can think of pencil some random shapes and just make something really fun and really quickly i'm just thinking i'm looking at this over and over, and over again what would this look like if it was black Ah? Huh? Are, you, are we team yellow or are we team black? I don't know, because I think yellow is kind of like, kind of cool too, but like black, I think makes a little more sense. It was just making me really annoyed. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video here today. If you guys enjoyed, of course, leave a like on the video. But uh, yeah, if you guys learned something, yeah, I mean, hopefully you did, but I have some really cool news and stuff. I am hiring a team of like editors pretty soon. So we're having more videos on this channel very quick, uh, very soon as well. So different videos, different fun ideas, just like things I want to kind of do that I wouldn't want to edit myself because I'm like, not, I'm not lazy by any means. I just have no time. So with that being said, that is it for the video. Cecil HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay a freaking predator, guys. Later. Much love and enjoy your new fun little banners. And for the record, I did this, I did this for a wallpaper for 100 Ds, my organization, of course, uh, that I work for for senior designer, by the way, if you guys have no idea. Um, but basically, I chose this like, little idea and effect, and people really loved it. And I asked Twitter, I was like, do you guys want to see a video of it? It's really easy. This is it. And enjoy it. That's all I'm going to say. I love you guys. Peace. And that's all I got. See ya.